base with Franklin and Dr. Dre, apparently. So I'm going to be doing that, and then once I'm done with that, that's pretty much it. I'm done with online. Oh my god, jiggly ass. Oh yeah, okay, you're alive now. Alright, I'm oh, loading yeah, in. Watch this. Uh, I can't because an ad is playing right now. Okay, now I can see you. <laughs> Jiggly physics. Oh. Okay, so what you have to do here, to that crank, that, one. that crank won't work. There's a different crank. Yep. So put that away. Put away your ink ribbons. You're gonna wanna keep your shotgun and launcher cause uh, there's gonna be hunters soon that you gotta fight. Yeah, you're good with what you got right now. Okay, so yeah, go to the ladder and then go into the door next to it. Yeah, that door. All right, ladder's how you get down there. Alright. I'm scared. Now I'm here. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is where Lisa fucking follows you around, right? Uh, it's a bit further into the mine. There's some, yeah, there's grenades there. Am I running into any chickens right now? Not yet. This room's the main shaft. You can't really do anything in here. I think that there's just handgun ammo and herb and like a first aid spray. Maybe. There's just handgun rounds there. There's one door in here. Go in that. Yes. Oh, yeah, more handgun rounds. Cool. Once you hit 255, it's gonna take up two, or it's gonna take up more space, so I would stop picking them up. Alright. There's a cutscene in here. Is that you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive! Stop! Are you with anybody, Jill? No. His face looks but a little why? weird. <sighs> yeah. The stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, he gets long shot. Africo! That was Rebecca's boss from the Ooh. other game. Gee, I wonder who the traitor could be. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, he has a handgun clip and then the, the crank there. You need that one. Maybe after this we could, uh, explore how his, uh, demise comes to an end. Mm hmm That crank is what you need to go across the gap. Okay, on your way Where's back it, to the save room. Oh no. Maybe it's in the original game. On your way back, there's hunters. Be careful. Bitch! Yeah, just go all the way through. 
You gotta go all the way back to the save room that you came here from. It's not too long a trek. Come on, chicken moise. I don't think there's any in this room. In the original game, this room doesn't have the lift in the middle. Uh, but yeah, there's... In the original game, they would have spawned in there. There's some here. Ooh, we almost did the jump strike, and it's the brown ones. I think all down here, it's all the brown ones. Those are the ones that do more damage. Alright. So here, there... It, if you want to make another save, I would recommend it, because there are instant death traps coming up. The the boulder part. Oh yeah, and they can kill you pretty easily if you get stuck in a screen shift, because I notice that you get stuck in those a lot. Oops. Yeah, it's safe. There's a lot of one-hit kill traps in this game. It's got more one-hit kill traps than Silent Hill 3 does. I remember it hard if you don't crouch at the one part, it will kill you. Mm -hmm. You gotta run away from the red mist. The Haunted House Attraction. Uh, you, yeah, just, uh, you gotta get in position better. There you go. And, uh, I don't know how this mechanism would work, but you would move the wall around. Alright, once you go through that door, you're gonna have to start dealing with the boulders. Nothing goes on that latch, not with her, not with her, with Chris, there's an additional puzzle in this area that you have to put stuff in the latches. When you run back, oh. run to the door. Oh my run god! Run to the door, run to the door, run to the door. Well, you survived the first one. You got one more. On the PS1 version, when I was playing that as a kid, I got killed by that trap all the fucking time. It was so annoying. Now, there's gonna be a boss fight coming spider. up. Spider? FY. Yeah, the big spider, but if you use grenades on it, it dies pretty quickly. There should also be a map somewhere soon for this area. It looks like somebody ripped a hole in paper or something for that, like, wall break. There's two little spiders and a big spider, but the second little spider doesn't come out till like, halfway through the floor. You know what I'm gonna do? Blast the shit out of it. Use the grenades to kill it fast. It does a lunge attack on, like, the other spiders. Oh. Alright, that one's dead, and I just gotta kill the two little ones. There's one mutter that'll come out. Now to get through that door, there's a knife in this room you need to pick up. Uh, and you can cut all the webs on that door. Oh, I think they're all dead. Yeah, well there's another one that'll come out after a bit. It doesn't spawn immediately. Are you poisoned? No. Okay. I'm just in caution. Yeah, be careful because the spider that'll spawn while you're cutting this is will poison you can spit on you. There it is. Uh, that didn't connect. I guess there's some invisible thing in the way. It's dead. Okay, finish cutting the webs. With Chris, you get a flamethrower, but only in this part. And, uh, it's only really good for the spider fight. 
What I do is I run around to the back of it and just kill, shoot it from the back because it takes forever to spin around. There should be some herbs in here if you need to heal. I think there's herbs. There's the map. Yep. They just call it courtyard basement one, it's a mine shaft, clearly. That's for Chris. When you're done with the flamethrower, you have to put it on that hook to get through the door. Now the other boulders in here. Now when you spin the wall, make sure the left side is open. It's not gonna roll at you yet. Once you put that in place, it will. Once the, uh, once you rotate it all the way around to the left, uh, run into that because you won't have enough time to make it back to the door because this boulder rolls really fast. You have to roll into the hallway that you open up here with the crank. Yeah, run up into the left okay. so you don't get killed. Big meatball. Yeah, if you try to run back, it rolls so fast that it'll kill you before you get there. That's the last instant death trap in this area, so. Yeah, it's a first aid box. Yep, you're gonna wanna keep one slot open. First aid spray, got some aerosol spray. Alright, guess what? You gotta push something. Oh, the dog farted. Gross. Yeah, and I smell those nasty. Oh, Yeah. God. So you see that one there? Hold on, I remember how to do this. Yeah. Well, don't, don't send that out yet. You gotta push the statue in front of it. And then you have to push oh. it out. Yep. Oh, whatever. Yeah, you gotta use the crank again to put, pull it back in. <laughs> yeah, you push it out and then you gotta use the dais in the middle to spin it and then you put it in the wall. Is this in the original game too? Go. It is, but it's not as complicated as it is in this one. I just push that thing into the middle until it spins around. Yeah, you gotta push, uh, spin it once more. Just push it off and push it back on. Oh my god. I know every time you step on it, it's gonna spin you. Come on! Okay, now you need to push it on the, into that hollow up there. Now, be careful because it can get stuck on that candlestick on the right, so don't push it up too much. I've had that happen to me. That's good. Push it up now. Now you gotta push it right and push it in. There. Push it in. Oh, nope. Oh, it got stuck, huh? There you go, you gotta lightly tap it. Okay. Now you gotta take that. 
That's the ring or the cylinder. Now you need to take that all the way back to where Enrico was. Any more chicken monsters? Possibly. I don't remember. Yeah, put it whatever you're, put go to the box, you can put some stuff away in there that you don't need. You could ditch the knife, you won't need the crank anymore oh, God, either. Yeah. Alright, that's good. Now in the elevator room, there's like a big panel way in the back. You gotta open that up. Yeah, and right there. Yep. Take that out. So I gotta put the yep. penis into the vagina? Yep. And you're, you're supposed to rotate it to find out the code, but I know what it is already. It's... Four two three one. You can clearly see it. Now you can put the shaft in there. And four three two one. Or four two. Sorry, it was four two three one. Yeah, now you gotta see. Four, two, three. And you win. Now you can take that elevator down to the lower levels of the mine shaft. Down you go. Barry? Well, now Barry Thank God comes. you're safe. You too, Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here, but I didn't expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. <clears throat> Ooh. That sound. Mm, this is the Lisa Trevor part. She's the only enemy down here, but she's Jill, invincible, so go you just need to out. go around her. We had enough surprises for one day. I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something All right. happens. Okay. So send go her to through, go do the dirty work. Go through the door there. She's gonna be in here, so make sure you go around her. Alright, you need to get to the a door at the other side of this area. Ah! Right, spin, go the other way, run left. Yeah, down here. Go up. Left, go up. Right. left, left, left. Yep. 
<coughs> she always spawns wherever you to try to go first, by the way. Um, Alright, in here, you need to push that box onto that lift. So push it left first and then push it up. Now send the lift down. Okay, now before you go back, you can climb up that pile of boxes in this room. There's some items up there for you. There should be some magnum rounds up there too. Not over there, the one closer to the wall. Yep, those ones. Climb up. There's a big cache of ammo up top. Alright, yeah, battery, handgun rounds, and magnum rounds. Alright, now you need to go back to where Barry is. Let's see where the skink will be. She'll be whatever direction you go first, she'll spawn in that path. It's it's always the same. Like if she spawns where you choose where you to try to go first. Oh, there's an ad playing and I can't see your bid, so just try to get back to where Barry is. There's five ads playing, so it's gonna take a while. Be careful because there's a dead end with a locked door over there, so make sure you go no, the right way. Okay. Oh, that bitch just leaves you? Yeah, he fucking leaves you down there. Now what you have to do, uh, there's an item box, first of all, by where the elevator was. Just put away the stuff you don't need, like the magnum rounds. And then when you're done with that, climb down the ladder and then you have to push the box around again. Okay, I can find, I'm finally looking at your stream again. That was a long break. Uh, yeah, push the... Yeah, you gotta push it in the trash compactor and break it. Break that shit. Now you can go down there and get the broken flamethrower. Okay, go ahead and take that. And go back to where the Lisa Trevor area is. Did you already put away your excess items? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now there's like a lever in here you need to pull and then run really quick to the door. So go left to get her to spawn left. Run right, up here, pull that lever. Keep going around. Down. Go down the stairs. Down 
down there, down, and put it in the rack before it closes. Make sure you're positioned correctly. Okay, now you can go in there. And now you don't have to deal with Lisa Trevor. Alright. Uh, there's snakes here, so be care er, in the water around here, so be careful. Ah! Don't get poisoned, they're the poisonous ones. They won't follow you up here. Alright, there's some, uh, items in here. You could scavenge, uh, in the jewelry boxes an iron ring, that's the most important thing. There's also a few members littered about. Whose room is this? Lisa Trevor's. Oh, I thought she stayed in that shitty hut. Well, you're technically in the hut, you'll see. Oh, does it go up in there? Yeah, there should be another memo in here from her mom, too, if I remember right. Yeah, you'll see. The ladder will take you up there, actually. Yeah, I'm not sure if there is. Alright, just go up then. The iron ring was what you came to get. Uh, there's some herbs and that way. Yeah, there's two herbs if you need one. Nope. Other than that, climb up the next ladder and you'll be in the hut. Yeah, she was living in the mine shaft underneath that hut. So. Yeah, so that board that that first crank was on, that was covering the hole. <laughs> Does she come in here? No. The only you're only gonna run into her one more time. I thought she was living in this. Bed. Oh, uh, well, I guess both. Oh, uh, go back. Go to the item box. You gotta grab something. Okay, go in there and look for the umbrella sigil. Yep. Combine it with the ring. Okay, now go back to the mansion. It's a lot of walking around this. Right? Got a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of road to trek. If you killed the zombie here and then blow off its head, it's gonna be a crimson head, so be aware of that. What the fuck? Oh, you looped around to the house. Yeah, there's a path that loops around to the house. When you get to the fork, just go down. Yep, there you go. I think it blew its head off. Okay, good. Yeah, it would have been chasing you by now because it activates from like all the way at the other end. And it runs at you. There's gonna be zombies in here now instead of crows. But you'll never come back through here. That was easy. Oh. Just go back up to the house. In the shed, pick up Pick up anything that's still left, but leave one inventory slot open. <sighs> this is the last time you're gonna see this part. Alright. 
Is that everything? Yep. Okay. Now, the sigil, the umbrella sigil that you put there, you need to take it now. That one in the panel. Yep, take it. Go back to the main hall, but take the long way so you don't have to fight the hunters. Wouldn't it be shorter actually to go through the courtyard than going through the other hallways? Yeah, good. That's what I was gonna say. Going through the courtyard. Go into the bird room. And then back to the main hall through there. Go underneath the stairs. Put the two sigils in the door. You have to examine the door first. I think. Oh, I guess not. Right. Yeah, you'll hear Lisa Trevor's down there. That bitch gets everywhere. Mm -hmm. Well, this time you get to kill her off. Okay, and you go. Alright, very important. Make sure you save, because Barry can die here, and if he dies, you get the bed. Is there any ink ribbons? Well, there's a box further down in the stairs. It's fine. Yep. Uh, get your ink ribbons and make sure you take the wolf metal and the eagle metal out. Oops. Don't forget. Yeah, you gotta save. You just need to examine the typewriter. It's stupid that you... Yeah. Well, you won't have to do that anymore when you get to 2 and 3. Because it's all checkpointing and auto-saves in that one. Alright. Now put that... Uh, put You could put the ink ribbons back. You won't need the... F well, I'm not sure if you're going to need the first aid spray, but don't let her hit you because there's a giant hole, and if she hits you, all you're going to go flying down the hole. So, yeah, don't let her hit you, and definitely don't let her hit Barry. If Barry aggros her and she's close, you need to shoot her so he doesn't die. Because she'll knock him down the hole. Yeah, see, there's just a giant hole all around the area. Jill, so, yeah, when it says alive. to give Barry his gun back, hit yes. I was worried, because I thought you were... And then make sure you push the stones, and that's all you have to do is push Start the stones without talking. getting hit. Mm. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Yeah, try to pull Don't the gun lie on to you. me. Thanks, Jill. So I just 
push this shit? Yeah, just do it fast before she hits you. You need to get all four of them. Don't let her kill Barry either. If she goes to Barry, you need to aggro her so she can have to see Alright, run for it, don't get hit. Very important. How is this a Burp. boss fight? Hi, bitch! Oh, no, it's a puzzle just like the other one. There. You did it because if she hits you one time, if you're not by the wall, she'll fucking knock you off. You go flying. There, that deals with her. Well, she got her mom's skull. And she kills herself. Bye! <laughs> I don't yeah, you just gotta make sure really Barry's dead. still here, cause I had one. I had Leave it only once ever because I didn't know he could okay. die here. She fucking hit him with the shackles and he went flying down the hole. That was a dumb boss fight. Eh, at least you don't have to deal with her anymore. We. You're almost done with the game. You're very, very close. Okay, there's a well here. You can't go through there. Uh, put the put the metals in the sides of the well. That's the eagle one. Okay. And then the other one. And that drains the well. Now you can go in and take the elevator down. There's a save room here. Do I really need to save again? Mm, no, not yet. I would store those ink ribbons though, because you only got like three. I hope we kill any zombies next to each other. Uh, if you want to hit them with incendiary rounds, that should stop them from reanimating. Pretty much what the flame grenades are for. But yeah, it's mostly just zombies down here. Oh, check the desk. It's in the, yeah, it's over there. That door is locked, by the way. You have to go downstairs. There's a mo disc. <clears throat> go left. Under that door there. I'm gonna try to get that trophy. Is there another one? Yeah, he's way over there though. Come on, bitch. Come on. Take to walk over there. That's the last zombie, by the way. So this is your last chance to get it. Come on! It's 
to make sure you kill him on top of the other one. Don't kill him until he's right on top of the other one. Don't get a headshot because you won't be able to immolate him. That's good. Okay. Well, let's try it. Yeah, hurry up because these ones reanimate fast. Oops, I went the wrong way, didn't I? If you do anything, or if you go in, the, in and out the room so many times, they'll reanimate, so you gotta hurry up and get the shit. Because these ones, like I said, they animate very quickly. Need both the kerosene and the lighter. Make sure you do it from in between them, so that you get them both. Here goes nothing. I don't think that counted. It didn't get them both? Nope. Yeah, unless you do it from in between them, it's a no-go. Alright, well that was your last chance, because this is literally the last zombies. Oh well, where, where do I go? Okay, now go right. Go right. Yeah, might as well do this first. Uh, go in there. There's some items in here that you can pick up. There's It's ammo and stuff, basically. Yeah, magnum clip. There's something hidden among the bodies in the back room, too. There it is. That's a battery, I think. Yeah, and I think there's a hidden item in here, but I don't know exactly where it is, so... Okay, uh, check the computer. Put in John and Ada. Enter? Yep. Ada. Oh my god. Yep. Better than the one from the original, the Ropals. What's the permission? Cell B E L L. And then also unlock basement four too. 
ba yeah, you got basement two, now do the basement three. And then you're done in this room. I just can't stop. Do you like the sound bites? No. Okay, next order of business. Uh, go to the left room. Or go back to the, where the stairs are. And go in that door by the stairs. Those two doors are locked. Check the near door first. You still have the Modisk, right? No. Oh, yeah, because I didn't see it because there was an ad break. Um, you don't need to take those. That was to solve the puzzle to get the code cell. Oh. Just put it on the wall so it's out of your inventory. There's a wall you have to put it on. I had you go in here because you have to visit every room at least once, but there's nothing in here for you to do once you have that code. Yeah, that's how you solve it. You just put them up a certain way and it lights up certain organs and then you put in the first letter of every organ. Here? Yeah. This, oh, well, you need the MO disc for there, actually, so you should probably go get that. But while you're here, get, you can get the slides, because I actually don't remember the passcode. Oh, you're going to need inventory space for that. Yeah, you need that to get another code. Actually, I don't think you're going to need to pick it up. I think it's 8462, so never mind, don't pick it up. That's where you need to use the MO disc, is right there. And you don't use that station till later, because you need a different item. So do I need to pick up of them? Yeah, just, you're gonna need to put MO disc because it unlocks all those locks on that big door at the end there. So you're gonna have to go upstairs. Yeah, you're gonna need to go to the item box because since your inventory is full. Is it getting up yet? They should be getting up soon. If not now, yep, that they're up. Oh wait, no, they're, no, he's not. You know It'll what? be uh. Oh, you gonna emulate him? I can. Didn't you use both of your things on the guys downstairs. Yeah, but it's right here. Oh, true. Okay, go ahead and chuck that in there. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, too much time passed. That's, that's kind of funny, actually. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, these ones go, these ones super, super rapidly mutate the ones down in the lab. Okay, so, run your box. Uh, put the excess crap away. I think I'll be good on Magnum rounds. Yeah, that's literally all the Magnum rounds in the game. You won't be getting any more. I'm gonna put this away. There's no point in carrying it. The grenades, it. yeah. True. I thought there were three of them. There are. There's another one hidden down here. You got the ammo disc, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, go. You have to go put it in the. It was the uh, code processor in that one room. I should have told you to grab both of them. I have both. But it's. 
Oh, you do? Okay, cool. All right, go left, far door, and at the end of that room, use the, uh... Put it in there. That used to look like a GameCube in the GameCube version, but they had to change the design of it for this. Uh, there's three. There's two different code processors hidden in the lab that you need to use those on too. Do I need to pick this thing up? Uh, might as well just to get the files completed because it counts as a file when you view it. Now you need to go upstairs uh, to get the power room key. That one door that was locked where you got the modus by the desk, that's where you need to go. It's the projector room. Okay, there's a couple things you can grab in here. There's a few, there's I think two memos in this room. The slides go in the projector, by the way. Yeah, check that shelf. Yeah, there should be another thing in the other shelf. Yeah, take that. Okay. All right, you need to uh, use the put the projector slides in there. Okay. And then there's Wesker, eight four six two. That's the, the code for the door. Uh, there's a panel. There's like a panel. Looks like a phone on the wall. Yeah, that thing. Use that. Uh, put in eight four six two. Okay, now you can go in the back office. There should be a key. The master key is there. Okay. And, yeah, check that for another file. This just shows Kenneth, the guy again, the first zombie that you ran into in the game. It's not really that interesting. There you go. That's about it. Um, that's all in this room. So that key will open every door in the laboratory except the prison door. That one you need to do all the all the MO disk codes to get open. Okay, this room, the there's gonna here. be enemies. There are gonna be enemies in here. You need to climb through one of the vents. Uh, they will come through, they will spawn in randomly. They'll start spawning in here, so be careful. They're called chimeras. They're like way stronger versions of hunters that look completely different. There you go. Climb down. Climb down because they're gonna start coming in from all the vents. There are some things to pick up in this room, I think. Yeah, that one won't open. 
Just make sure you go through all of them before you go to the next room. In the next area. Okay, that vent at the top, go in that one. Not that one, it was the one at top. How do I get- No. You can't get down from here, you need to go in the vent. Oh, one of these. Well, you can, but you won't be able to get out of the room. Oh, there you go. Well, now you got some ammo back. <sighs> yep. Yeah. There should be a console here for the ammo desk code reader. Or the code decipherer. There it is. That's two. Now you just need to do the last one. Okay, you're good. You can leave this area. Now you can unlock the other door and that should be all the use for the master key. That's that one that you're standing by right here. But no, the other one. It was the other one. This is the computer room. Oh, oops. I yep. got it mixed up. I thought the other door was the computer room. Nope. The double doors go to the computer room. I'm not sure if there's zombies in here or not. I don't believe there is. But... That door was where you were just in the morgue. Uh, that's the save room. This one? Uh, no. That's the. Don't go that way. That has a ass load of chimeras in it, but you have to go down there. That's the elevator that has no power. Where's the save room? Oh, uh, it's that oh, room right there. I didn't even see yeah. the door. <laughs> yeah, now there's a bunch of ammo in here, and if you want to make a save, I would because there's a one hit death trap coming up. Yeah, this is the last save room of the game, so you're pretty close to being done. Did you bring Resident Evil 5 over to Magnus, or is it all? I have it. Maybe I'll do that after this. Ugh. You pretty much cleared out almost everything out. Yeah, now you should save. Just be safe so you don't die. Okay, now when you now you need to go to the power room. But, uh, beware, because there are a lot of chimeras. <sighs> Ooh. Okay, go up. Not that way. Well, there's yeah, there's gonna be chimeras coming. You don't need to go through that door. Uh, the the first thing you have to do is get fuel before you can deal with the generator at all.
Yeah, go that way. That's where you need to go. Oh, he was hugging the floor. All right. What this? Yup, take that capsule out. Take that. Okay, now you need to take it all the way back to, uh... With the room where you use the first modisk. And fill the- that's where the fuel filler is. Yeah, up the stairs. Or not up the stairs. Sorry, you're going the right way. Alright. Yeah, uh, the far door. Oh, that's the prison. Okay. Yeah. Check that fridge looking thing that of uh, the washing machine. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Put that in there. Or put it the capsule in there. Yes. Okay, here's the one hit death trap. Don't run. You have to walk back to where you got the capsule and put it back. If you run, you'll blow up. I'm not kidding. Cause I tried running. Don't run, walk. You gotta walk real slow. I know, but if you run, you blow up. This shit wasn't in the original game, by the way. It was or wasn't? It wasn't. All right, you just put it in there, right? I just finished watching ads. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you can go through that door. Yeah, a lot of those are gonna spawn all the way through here. In this room, on the left side, is the final data decoder to the prison room. Yeah, it's up there, back in the third floor. But it's fine, because you gotta flip the switch in here anyway. Yeah. Alright, do I go through here? Yep. Now you need to go to the other side of the generator and turn the power on for the labs. 
Yeah, where the fuck are they? They're gonna pop up. Yeah, there's a lot of them. They just crawl through vents. That's the self-destruct mechanism. The other one is the generator. Is that all of them? That should be. That one that you passed was the there, first. This the modus thing? That's the self-destruct one. The the yeah the other one. There's the other panel back there. Yep, that's the elevator panel. The panel for the power. All right. Now I can start going back. I believe some more chimeras will still pop up behind you. Where's the last modus? It's in this room. Go right up here. Oh, there's one. Use that there. Now don't go straight to the elevator. Go to the prison and open it up now. That'll get you an achievement. Yeah, go in there. You gotta flip all the levers down. Ooh, nasty storms coming through. Damn. Yeah, I can hear it through the evil to mix it on. Of course Chris. I'm alive. Jill, there's something big going down, and I don't think we're part of the equation. I have to get you out of here. Ugh, it won't open. Wait, I'll be back to get you out. Okay. No sightseeing, though. Alright, so how do I get him out? Now that you've triggered that cutscene, you can come back here, otherwise she'll say there's no time. So you have to watch that cutscene first before you free him. So to get him out, all you have to do is fight the first part of the tyrant, and then Wesker will activate the self-destruct system, and it will unlock that door down there. So what do I do? Go to the elevator? Yeah, I would save because now you're just going to fight the final bosses and then bring your all your good ammo with you and stuff. I wouldn't waste magnum rounds on the tyrant's first phase though, just use grenades on it. And then when you get to the second part, bust out the magnum. Just make your final save here and then, yeah, the final bosses. Bring some, bring a first aid spray because he does a lot of damage if he hits you.
I would say just bring all your grenades. Probably your self-defense gun team. You might as well expend that one bullet. Yep, that's fine, that'll do. Right. Yeah, don't- if he hits you three times, he kills you, just keep that in mind. But he's pretty slow in the first phase, so as long as you don't stay right by him the whole time, you should be okay. He goes down after a few grenades get launched at him. Well, shouldn't I just use the self-defense gun on him? Yeah, because that'll do one round of magnum damage. Look how small and tiny it is. Mm-hmm. I don't remember if you get an achievement for shooting something with it, but I'm pretty sure you don't. Yo. Okay, there's like a cut- a big amount of cutscenes coming up. Jill! Barry. He could have at least waited up for them, you know? Let's go. So yeah, with Chris's campaign, it's pretty much identical, except you have different parts that you do with Rebecca than what you did with Barry, and they're in different areas. But, uh, Joel will be in that prison cell if you play as Chris. Wesker! Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <sighs> you're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh! Really? Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. Oh, there's the final boss for you. This scene actually is much better when you do it with Chris. That, or the cutscene is way more interesting with Chris than it is with Jill. It's magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. Barry! Forgive... me? No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! All those black fingers.
just keep your distance it. from it and because it walks real slow for this first phase. Oh, I think you missed the part of the scene. I think you skipped it, but the tyrant smacks Barry in the face and goes flying against the wall. So Barry can't help you during this fight. Ah! Be careful, it's a dead end there. We got it. Okay, now check Barry. Where did he go? Well, you have to flip that actually, too. That's there, that, that thing unlocks the doors. Yeah, if you. You can run away from the tyrant here, but if you do, Barry dies. So, you have to fight it. Barry! Barry! Uh, you're okay. Uh, Jill, sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. First, let's just get out of here. How the hell did he sneak out, right? <laughs> Especially after I just looked at him. Mm-hmm. Oh, you didn't check Wesker. I forgot to tell you. You missed a memo then. I think I missed a couple. Yeah, because if you check Wesker before you check Barry, he has a memo uh, on it about Alexia Ashford or whatever in his so pocket. Good to go. Yeah. Yeah, with Chris, the cutscene plays out better because what ends up happening is Wesker drains the the preservation liquid and he, he marvels at the tyrant and then the tyrant shoves his claw right through Wesker's chest like Wesker a tail and throws him to the Let's side. Hurry. And then uh, Rebecca activates the self-destruct system. In this, in Jill's version, uh, Wesker somehow sneaks out of the room and he activates the self-destruct system and escapes. But in Chris's story, they lead you to believe that he dies because he was killed by the tyrant. Uh, by the way, Wesker drops a different memo in Chris's game than he does in Jill's game. But they all refer refer to future games. Should I save or? Nah, you don't need. I wouldn't say you need to, but bring your magnum and all the rounds, and bring every first aid spray you have, like uh, at least four of them if you have that many. Because you can't really avoid taking damage with the final boss because he runs in a second. Uh, uh. Yeah, you're not gonna need the shotgun. I would say the magnum would be enough to take him out. You need to have a free inventory slot, though. I forgot to mention to pick up the battery for the elevator. There we go. All right, you should be go? good then. Uh, you need to go the w out the way you came in. Like, all the way back out the lab the way you entered. Oh, but before you do that, I forgot. Get get Chris out of the prison now before I forget. I don't think it's a bad ending. Well, I mean, you'll get the semi-good ending. I, I should have mentioned that if you want that to be the kind of arrows. You go in the prison. If you would have took the inner path, that's, those chimeras don't spawn if you take the inner path. Now, if you have both Chris and Barry, they will both help you distract the Tyrant, but either of them can die. So you need to make sure you get rid of the Tyrant before they get killed. Jill. Sorry about the wait. So everything's taken care of? 
Well, almost. There no, is an the item in there, but like I said, you need to keep an inventory slot open, so I just ignore it. Once you get to the helipad, you should have you should get the trophy for visiting every room in the game. Come on, let's go. Yeah, Chris will go ahead. Just get to just go back to the where you came in. Chimeras will be right here, so quickly go on that door. Yeah. There shouldn't be any enemies up here. chance that you have to bring anything with you that you want. There's a box and a typewriter in here. Now, to avoid taking da damage from the tyrant, come on, come on, you need to run at the claw that isn't his arm. And he'll, he'll miss if you run on that side of where the claw is in that. So if he runs at you, run towards his side where he doesn't have the claw and he'll miss. When you go up, yeah, there's the helipad door there. Uh, it takes you down the corridor and there'll be a battery. You gotta pick that up and put it in the elevator. I'm watching ads right now, so I can't really see what you're doing. If there's anyone alive, contact me now or just give me a sign. I repeat, this is your last chance. It's a dumb battery. Yeah, it's the same battery. Or it's, it looks similar to the one you put in the, uh, how, or put in that lift back at the courtyard. Three minutes to detonation. Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, you yeah, just get in contact with Brad! chuck that shit in the elevator no. and take it up. We can make it. It'll Jill, activate the timer. You'll have, like, first. three minutes. Chris! Would you let me have my moments, too? Alright, now I'm looking at your stream right. again. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. There will be a case of flares here. Pick those up. Then go to the center of the heli er, helipad and fire them off. Now Brad should come and then the tyrant will pop up out the floor. Shoot him as much as possible. He's gonna run at you, by the way, so move. There you go, Dodson. Yeah, he'll knock you across the room when he hits you with that. He does have a grab move, but as long as you have evasive items, you should be able to survive as much as you. Alright, let's 
load your gun while you're in there. Yeah, that gun does take forever to load if you do it on screen. Uh, Jill, use uh it. well, not do exactly. It, you need to pick up the rocket launcher and shoot him with it now. Yeah, get him to run at you first so you can pick it up in peace. Oh, never mind. You had enough time. To All right, equip it. Aim it at his ass and move him. You might want to heal. That thing does take a while to aim, so... Yeah. If this one misses, shoot him again. Because there is a chance that he'll knock it away with his claw. No. Nope. He's more likely to do that on the higher difficulties. Yeah, on the higher difficulties, you have to shoot him from his backside, so when he goes for Barry, that's when you have to shoot him. Because he'll just knock away the missiles, and if you run out of missiles, then you die. But yeah, you finished the game. I mean, if you want to do it with Chris, it's up to you, but I don't think it's worth it because you're doing the same thing again. Just no, for some extra cutscenes with Rebecca. Oh, he completed RE1. Now it's RE2 Remix time to shine. That one, that one is the best remake. Out of all the remakes. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll do RE5 now. Oh, uh, okay. When you do have the unlimited gun. Yeah, true. Are you gonna stream that? Probably not, cause I'm at Megan's. Alright. I'm pretty Quick sure you could skip the credits.